he noticed a box that didn't belong in his dumpster. I saw six of them in there, took a package out, and I was wondering if it came off our shipment truck. So I went back in, checked the cameras, and that's when I noticed, uh-oh, somebody's uh, dumping them here. And then an hour later, he shows up in his personal car, stops at the trash can. This area is a nice, quiet place. We have no problems here since we moved in, so. But nice and quiet could be the problem in this case. Yep. Jeff Hawes runs a business on a side street in Mechanicsburg, Cumberland County. He noticed a box that didn't belong in his dumpster. I saw six of them in there, took a package out, and I was wondering if it came off our shipment truck. So I went back in, checked the cameras, and that's when I noticed. Uh oh, somebody's uh, dumping them here. Jeff thinks the delivery driver probably assumed that no one would see what he was doing back here in this secluded spot. Problem is, this surveillance camera captured his every move. My thought is that somebody wanted to get off their shift early and maybe just ditched them. But uh, it turns out it was a little bit more uh, malicious than that. Jeff called police, who suggested he take another look at the video. And then an hour later, he shows up in his personal car stops at the trash can. Detective Cody Phillips with the Silver Spring Township Police Department reached out to UPS and found the driver who admitted to the whole thing. His plan ultimately and as seen on surveillance was he was planning on returning to the dumpster after his shift had ended at UPS to retrieve the six packages out of the dumpster and place them into his personal car. Oh, this is it here. Still without Jeff's willingness to get involved, no one may have ever even noticed the packages were missing. Surveillance helps us tremendously. These were key pieces to this investigation. Detective Phillips adds, there's a lesson to be learned for all of us. Be alert, be vigilant, and... If you're ordering a package from USPS, UPS, or FedEx, and it doesn't arrive at the time that you're planning it to, reach out to them and try to figure out where your package is. I'll tell you what, before I get into this video, I didn't have this shit happen to me. But I ain't gonna say they put my shit off in the trash can and came back and got it. But when the new iPhone 15 came out, I ordered my shit at the store and UPS shipped them shits. When they said they, when they said it shipped, it shipped from uh, Pennsylvania and it never updated its location. It always, it always said that, shipped. Never came, never heard nothing, and it was from them. UPS, boy, y'all looking bad out here, man. And like I always say in these videos, these people is dumb as hell because for you, and you're doing it in a business parking lot. You don't think everybody got cameras out there? Number one. And then number two, you, like, you got your uniform on you in your truck. They can verify who it is. It's like, you got to, you dumb as hell for that. At least if he would have parked the, the truck down the road or before the camera and not been on camera view, well, then I guess either way, he would have been caught any damn way. So there ain't no justification with that shit. But the shit that blew me was he put all them boxes in the trash can and then came back in his car top down like it's all good. Like you can't be seen. Me, I'd have had my windows up and hoped, hopefully they were tinted. Put a hat on, try to disguise yourself, try to do something. They got to do a better job of, of when they're sending packages out to putting them in boxes to where even the, the, the even the drivers don't know what they're carrying. Because, for example, my iPhone, it clearly shows what it is. I don't know, man. These people, these people ain't right, man. People waiting on their shit. Thank God. Thank God that it's, like, it's not like a. Uh, it's not nothing that can't be replaced. It's just a, it's just a pain in the ass, to be honest. But like my phone, I, I did it. To, I, when we called and said the, the, the tracking had never moved, we got our phones in two days. They did next day shipping. That's how they got to do it, man. And, and then when it came, it was in a total different box. So buddy, buddy, buddy need his jaws kicked up his ass for that, man. Stupid ass. You on camera and then come back in your car on camera again. You can't make this type of shit up, man. And now for, for him, it's going to be hard for him to get another job doing anything like that because you're stealing from the job. Who the hell going to hire you? You got to look at the big picture. That, that, that shit, crap. that's too petty turning into something big now.
Because now that could affect you trying to find work. You're you going to have to go do some construction or something, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell.